Hello, I am Karyar. I am going to convert a raw EEG file into a respective CSV file. So this is the output of our today task. First of all, I have to delete these two, two files. I have to create three folders in which one of our folder raw files are there. And, um, and this is the raw file. These are the raw file of EEG one to eight electrodes and this is the edf uh, files that are converted so here is my matlab first all first of all i am going to clean my environment so that things are clear so this is my code uh, for conversion here is raw file uh, raw folder raw directory path is raw, raw directory path is taken in which raw files are there and this is get the list of all raw files in the specified path loop through each raw file in the directory by the way this code is available in my my github or dropbox I will given you separately so this is the code which will convert the <coughs> raw file into uh, csv so here we are reading the raw file raw file structure raw file directory and then each uh, in the raw folder there are raw files are there so you have to loop through each file and convert into their respective pdf format in edf folder and this part of the code will convert my edf file into csv file so that's it uh, for this we need eeg lab in our workspace so by uh, running this code eeg lab is initiated Whenever EG Lab is initiated, it pop up message, and which is just like that parameter of current set. But we don't need this to convert. So it will take some time. Uh, one file is converted into EDF. Now it will convert it into uh, there are two files in, uh, in our directory so first file is converted into edf and the next file is on process second raw file is now uh, second raw file edf is converted now now their respective csv file is created So our code is now completed we have csv format code and we have to open this eeg data in csv format it has one to eight electrodes and each electrode has its files each electrode has its data respective data
now that and this is the uh, this is over converted raw file into csv now there is another way to verify uh, read a raw file which is uh, basically a net station binary simple file basically it is a eg lab extension so for this you have to go to them if you don't have uh, this path specifically net station binary simple file you go here so there you will see the installed show the installed files there is a iglegacy version 1 you have to if you don't have iglegacy then you uh, then you can cannot load the raw file into this for this you have to download this uh, plugin matlab plugin by going to search here see so I have already downloaded you can uh, you have seen there and you will download there and upload a new plugin so uh, there are other uh, few uh, things you have to know for uh, if you don't see in BDF import then you have to you have to upload this pdf import version by search this and there is option install and update you have to search this legacy and then install it you have seen this uh, uh, this will uh, take some time and it will install in your eg lab so that you have this net station function there I am now going to read the net station file. I have raw file here. First of all, you have to read this raw file because uh, you want to know the EEG data in the. So you have seen we have one to eight per frame and. To like 88,000, uh, 8,803 frame per epoch, and there are uh, 835.208 second of data, and their channel location, location is there. So after reading this raw file, I am going to check my data, which is converted into raw, raw to CSV. Is it correctly converted or not? Here you will see that I have two uh, uh, two like eight thousand eight zero <coughs> three rows, and uh, in this two like eight thousand eight zero three rows, uh, there eight two like eight thousand eight hundred four rows, but one row is for this header. So th uh, this is how you can check that the corresponding csv format data is correct or not by reading first raw data um, through this net station binary simple file uh, then uh, if you don't see this uh, this package or this uh, this extension then you have to go to manage extension and where you have to download it like <coughs> and this is the and this is the way to read the C, uh, uh, read the read the file 
which is in raw format so after reading this file i have uh, i come to know that in this raw file we have 2 uh, 2 lakh 88 8803 rows and uh, after converting by uh, this csv uh, this raw file into csv we have same number of rows so today today is all about this thing how to convert raw file into csv format and thank you so much for listening